welcome back to my channel the Yorkshire Sew Girl um, for anybody who's subscribed obviously for anybody that's new even more welcome love it if you stick around with us um, I'm only doing a really quick video today it's just gonna be a really fast so Hayley Jane subscription box unboxing now I know loads of other people that I personally watch on YouTube already do this so they're already already doing their own unboxing and there's something about I don't, I don't know if it's just me that's crazy but I actually really enjoy watching other people unboxing their boxes even though they're the same as mine anybody else hands up if that's anybody else yeah that's me so um mine was received yesterday and I've literally sat on my hands the whole time so that I can open it up look vouch look it's not broken this label so that I could open it up on here um but what I'll do is I probably won't upload this for a day or two just to give everybody else the chance to get it in the post because I know in some areas mine last month was really late coming to me so I think it might be the same for everybody else as well so I'll leave it a day or two before I actually physically upload it um today I am wearing my Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top that I've recently made which is one of my favorite makes ever with the big poofy sleeves, long sleeve version, with a lovely scoop neck in the most amazing art gallery uh, stretch fabric cotton jersey. It's just beautiful. I think I'll be making some more of those. So with my most outrageous big earrings, you know, as if I'm going out somewhere, even though we don't really have anywhere to go, do we? But doesn't mean that we can't dress up while we're at home. Why not? I want to make myself look half decent for you guys anyway I'm just waffling on the get out so yeah so this is the box for anybody who doesn't know so Hayley Jane is a business who does monthly subscription boxes um there are three different styles there's mini classic and luxury all with different levels um of contents and I subscribe to the classic box which is 35 pound the mini is 20 and the luxury is 65 and they all differ so if anybody wants to go and have a quick look on the website i will pop a link down below and i'll also pop somebody else another um youtuber's um affiliate link because i think you get a discount off it as well i think someone used that to their advantage last time i posted one of these that was really good um and i hope this i hope they've managed to get it in time for this first one to come through for them so we'll see so yes yeah, so i thought i'll open it and then you'll get my honest opinion on what's inside. How I managed to not do it yesterday, I don't know. But it might have been the fact that I had a couple of glasses of Prosecco last night. <sighs> Why not? We're not going anywhere, are we? A bit of pink bubbly won't do any harm. And this, <laughs> so this is how it comes in some lovely yellow tissue paper. And this month, I believe that um, Halia has partnered up with another company which I'll go into in more detail. Oh, wow, this looks nice. I'll hold it up for you so you can just roughly see the contents there, look. So, in every box comes a lovely little um, magazine leaflet style thing. And the um, topic for this month is warm and cosy. How nice does that look? With a nice gorgeous it looks like a latte maybe a gingerbread latte or something like that so it starts with a little hello from Haley herself then this is an interview with crafty so and so and this is who Haley's done a partnership with on this box so i was really looking forward to having a look at this um because i've been on their website a lot and there's some really good stuff on there so that'd be a really nice read there is a make of the month um that it's been made by a lady called Ashika, um, whose Instagram is sewn by Ashika, and she's used the double gauze to make a McCall's pattern. Now, this was on one of the previous boxes, and I actually got this colourway, which is a really nice khaki green with like a white, um, is it a dandelion print, I think, on it, or a daisy? So I am going to think about what to make up with that. I've never sewn with double gauze before, so it's just sat there waiting at the moment for me to get some inspiration. So it's really nice to see someone else making it up. Then there is three boxes, three outfits. So this is where she sends out a luxury box, a mini box and a classic box to three different people. And then it shows what they've made up with everything. So there's one there. 
that looks beautiful i think that must be the luxury box from november yeah because that looks really nice then there is the viscose which came in november's box and um, that's been made by laura now this was the black colorway i actually got the blue colorway and i'm still debating what to to make with mine but that looks really nice and then oh wow Gemma has used the fat quarters in the classic box which is very clever to almost patchwork a top I like that that's really interesting oh I like that oh it's a Gilbert top oh that's clever yeah I don't have the brain capacity for things like that um just yet um and then there's a always a profile from one subscriber which is really nice this is a lady called rebecca and she gets the classic box and you can see some of the things she's made up with previous fabrics that's the viscose jersey that i've made the juno pajamas in from um tilly and the buttons and then she's also used the khaki green double gauze that's really nice um and then there's pattern picks oh and this has been done this month by crafty so and so it's normally done by the fold line um where they pick out some lovely different patterns that you could use and it's normally in relation to the fabric that you get in your box so i'll have a good look at that um and then they're talking about a swatch list as well at crafty so and so um which looks quite good i want to have a look at that and what else is there in here uh, and then there's always a little bit about um what hayley has been watching that's the um the queen's gambit which is on my list to watch and um a small um it's always like a sewing related puzzle and then on the back which i absolutely love as well is insta watch where it shows all the people on instagram that have made um garments up with some of the fabric and i just i really like that for inspiration um and all of these by the looks of it have all been done with the double gauze <clears throat> that was in one of the boxes so you can see all the different colorways so there's the green one that i've got there's a lovely like burnt auburn rust colour and then a lovely um, like a mustard yellow colour as well. So, yeah, I'll be having a cup of tea with that later. There is always a sweet treat in the, in the box. And how cute is this? Look at that. It's a little iced biscuit look. And I think what you're supposed to do, because it's got that little groove in it, is you put it on your mug like this like so and then you pop it in there if it would actually last that long to get on the mug in the first place and to be honest i am not a biscuit dunker soggy soggy biscuit i can't stand it i can't no um even watching someone dunk a biscuit gives me the shivers um and i also work for a biscuit manufacturer so well kind of partner up with a biscuit manufacturer so i actually work with biscuits a lot um and people are always talking about the best biscuits for dunking and i'm like no biscuits are for dunking it does not say on the packaging dunk this biscuit no no i'm sorry for all you people out there that are dunkers do you love that sketch from um is it peter k when he talks about the dunking biscuits if not look it up because you'll um yeah you'll like that right there's always another little notion so let's see what's in here and a lovely little polka dot thing Ooh. Let's have a look. Oh, these are little fastenings. Look, Let's see if I can hold these up for you to see. I don't know what these are called. Can you see? Mm. Like little tiny fastenings, almost like snaps. Are they little tiny snaps? Oh, I don't know. We have to have a look at that. I quite like that. Oh, that's the good thing about these subscription boxes. You get to to try different things that you'd probably never never look at before and i think there's five yeah there's five in there Ooh. maybe more will be revealed as we look through the box but that looks quite funky um i quite like it though because there's always little things that hayley puts in there and i just stash them away for whenever i've got a project that needs them and like there was some buttons the other day that were all a bit odd and i managed to find a load that all went together and it was perfect so the next thing is fat quarters and in the classic box, you get four. In the mini, I think you get three. And in the luxury box, you get five. But these are gorgeous. Look at those. How nice are they? So you've got a pink one with white stars on. Oh, that's gorgeous. A mustard one. 
with white stars on but they're quite they're a bit larger the stars on that one a lovely like turquoisey duck egg blue with white spots on and a lovely navy with white anchors on in the background oh, that's, they're lovely they actually go really nicely together now i use fat quarters for some things i.e pocket linings things like that but i don't do an awful lot of crafting stuff so that is what i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna start making up different things Baby! oh my, i am doing a video you are now on the video oh, do you no. want to come and say hello no no that's it they're off go on be gone go on be gone go on go see your daddy go see go see your daddy he's not getting you your pens daddy go go get him to get your pens bye bye <sighs> see, if it wasn't bad enough that i've got a cat's out out there go like meow, meow, and then my kids burst in i did ask my husband to just give me 10 minutes while i did this but now i'm on 11 minutes so maybe that's why he sent them up early and what they do is they come and they snitch on their dad all the time so what Ollie, my youngest, has just said is, Daddy's not getting me the pens. So what that means is Daddy's probably sat drinking his coffee in the living room. Um, <laughs> For anybody who didn't hear that, that's my eldest going, no, he's building my robotic spider. Okay, I feel bad now, Jack, saying that about your daddy when he's actually building your birthday present that you got the other day. Anyway, so I'm going to start doing... Um, Jack, <laughs> I'm just going to carry on. I'm going to start doing Christmas presents. Um, you're hilarious. Go away now. Bye then. I'm going to start doing Christmas presents. Anybody else say they're going to do that every single year in January? I'm going to start early and then you panic at the end of it and it's all kaput. I'm just going to have to stop this out I and edit it because this just isn't going to happen, is it? What is it? I'm doing a video and I've asked you not to come in. Can you please go downstairs? Yeah. Steve, can you please help? Because I'm in the middle of trying to do a video and they've come in about six times so far. I'm trying to do something. They are running wild. It's very hard. <laughs> come downstairs, both of you, please. <laughs> go downstairs while I finish this, please. Downstairs. Not allowed. Jack. It's all kicking. It's all kicking off out there. Now Jack's telling him off. Did a cat just get in here then? Oh good lord. Anyway, I'm gonna try and cut a load of that out because that was just out of hand, wasn't it? But anyway, maybe I won't, maybe I'll just leave it in because it's real life. This is my life, people. I have two young children. Seriously, the cat got him. The cat actually got in. Come here. This is my pain in the arse cat. Simba! Hello, Simba. Hello. She is the most needy cat in the whole wide world. She has a brother. Go on. He's not quite so needy. She makes up for both of them. Anyway, right, shall we get back to this then, shall we? Shall we? Shall we get back to this. Ooh, so, because Hayley has um, partnered up with Crafty Sewn So We've got a pattern in this box, which is very unusual. You don't normally get a pattern. You do in the luxury version, you get a really nice um, pattern each uh, month that goes with a fabric because in the luxury one, you get a designer fabric. Um, but yeah, so we've got a pattern. So we've been treated this month, haven't we? And these are the pyjama bottoms by Crafty So and So. <gasps> which come um, in an extra small all the way to a double extra large. Oh, wow. And then to sew the pyjamas up. Look at this. Oh, beautiful tartan cotton fabric. Oh, that is really, really lovely. Look at that. Oh, oh there's so much of it. You get two and a half metres, by the way, for anybody who doesn't know. Look at that. So it's got, it's red with white, black, yellow and green in it. And it's all brushed. You probably can't see that. It's all brushed on one side. <gasps> and the little matching thread that goes with it. How cool is that? 
I might have to make these for Christmas. Oh, I think they'd probably be quite an easy quick sew as well, wouldn't they? Now, I don't normally wear woven pyjamas, but I've seen so many versions on Instagram recently and I'm like, do I need to consider? Do I need to think about getting a pattern? But what I'm thinking is I could maybe make the woven pants, but then just make, I don't know, an Agnes little top or the tab of the t-shirt from one of um, Tilly's um, books that I've got as well, and then match those up. Maybe in just, you know, a plain colour and pick one of the colours out of here and then make it up. I think that'd look really nice. <gasps> oh, what a lovely box. Oh. oh, that's nice, isn't it, for December? Something a little bit special. So, yeah, so, you know, pop a comment down below if there's anything that you think I can do with my fat quarters. Um, I do like those. I think they're really, really nice. Um, but, yeah, anybody's got any ideas? Of, of nice little projects that would make pretty presents for people I would be all ears because that is definitely what I need to do so yeah so thanks for watching everybody um I'm really sorry about my kids interruption and my husband screaming in the background um that is yeah my weekend um every weekend especially with lockdown and all that lot going on and uh is not getting out much so maybe a walk is in order later to make them expend some of this energy that they have um yeah thanks for watching and do leave me a comment below i love reading the comments i always reply to everybody um if you want to check me out on instagram as well um it's just the same uh the yorkshire so girl um and hopefully i'll be checking in soon with what i've made over the month of december take care everybody i hope you all have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll speak to you in my next video bye